How's it going everybody? My name is Alpine Hippie and today we're gonna be deep diving into some Sonic the Hedgehog lore. Now today I stumbled across a little bit of a meme that tipped me off to some wacky background on one of the Sonic the Hedgehog characters. This particular character is Shadow the Hedgehog, actually one of my favorite characters from the series growing up. I mean, I'm not gonna act like I was ever enough into Sonic lore to know anything about this guy, but I thought he looked cool. I thought his edginess was kind of nice. I, you know, who doesn't like a little bit of an anti-hero? But evidently, there's some actually pretty dark stuff that kind of comes with this guy's story, and the reason it kind of is significant is because they're adding him into the next Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming up. Which is very kid-friendly, and we're gonna get into why it's a little confusing on how they're gonna be able to actually make this character happen. Because some of the edgier, creepier, crazier stuff about this story goes into his, you know, his backstory and some really major parts of it. So today we're going to be deep diving into some Sonic the Hedgehog lore that I'm not familiar with. I'm pretty excited. I do hope that if you're here for my content, you'll like and subscribe. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time, and it means so much to a small channel like mine. Now, without further ado, let's deep dive into some lore, baby. So for anyone unfamiliar with Sonic the Hedgehog, I'll just give you the very quick Wikipedia cliff notes here. Shadow the Hedgehog is a fictional character appearing in Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. He first made his debut in Sonic Adventure 2 in 2001. He actually wasn't intended to be a long-term character. It was supposed to be his only appearance, but he was super, super popular among fans because he's super badass. And they decided to add him to Sonic Heroes over in 2003. He's shady. He's edgy. He's got that sleek black, you know, anthro... Anth anthro anthropomorphic black hedgehog yeah yeah it's just real cool looking look at him go so now we're gonna actually get into this you know this backstory i only know that there's some actually traumatizing stuff that's supposed to happen here so let's see how it goes so it looks like he was an artificial being created by professor gerald gerald robotnik robotnik very cool uh, through genetic engineering as part of an experiment to cure his granddaughter Maria from a deadly illness. Oh, very sad. While Shadow and Maria formed a strong bond, the government deemed him a threat. So Shadow was placed in suspended animation and a military organization, the Guardian Units of Nations, a.k.a. GUN. I mean, pretty on the nose, but all right. Uh, they killed Maria. As, as Shadow tried to protect her. So this, uh, how old Maria? How old is Maria in Sonic? T 12 years old? All right, so you're telling me. In canon, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog. A 12-year-old girl gets murdered. <laughs> by a paramilitary organization called GUN. I mean, man, it, it's, it's, it's very veiled. I mean, well done. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. It's so horrible. Good God. She was Shadow's first friend before she died. This is truly tragic. All right, let's continue the, the, the biography here. Uh, Maria's death traumatizes Shadow, who vowed to keep his promise to her that he would protect the world from danger. So, okay, he has a noble cause. In Sonic Adventure 2, Geralt's grandson, Dr. Eggman, learns of Shadow and revives him as part of a plan to conquer the world and defeat Sonic the Hedgehog. Shadow agrees to help Eggman and frames Sonic for evil deeds. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now here's the thing. Th this is why we like him. This is why we like this guy right here. He's edgy. He's cool. He keeps you on your toes. And us kids like to be kept on our toes, okay? Life gets boring out there. However, however, Shadow eventually allies himself with Sonic to prevent the world's destruction after he remembers his promise he made to Maria. Very sweet. So I'm not going to dig too much deeper into the lore just because I want to avoid some like unnecessary spoilers, but that's pretty much it. I kind of want to dig more into the details though because I feel like this is going to be kind of a wild ride. All right, let's dig into uh, uh, Sonic fandom here and, uh, and, and dive a little deeper here. Quote, I am the ultimate life form, Shadow the Hedgehog. I will crush anyone who stands in my way. What a badass. He's so cool. Look at him go. He's so much better than Sonic. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, no, no, here's the thing. Sonic's great. Sonic, he, he is a great protagonist. He's a great protagonist. Very quippy, very likable. I'm not dogging on Sonic at all. 
but there you just can't beat the awesome edgy sleek anti-hero you just can't he's so cool so mr robotnik made him to be the ultimate life form and it was using the dna of black doom what's black doom okay whoa what the hell? Okay, uh, Black Doom is the main antagonist in Shadow the Hedgehog. He is the sinister leader of the Black Arms and the oldest member of his kind. Due to its sin- Whoa, whoa, whoa. He presents an uh, almost religious front and shows little respect for humanity due to its sins against each other and the planet Earth. Holy crap, this guy is like hardcore philosopher darkness guy. I kind of like him. He's pretty cool. I might just have to do another deep dive on him sometime, but we got to get back to, to Shadow here. I mean, this guy's essence of him, so I'm sure he has some real uh, some real demons inside of him, huh? But I guess, yeah, he was made to, like, cure incurable deadly illnesses, so, like, he's also just good for Earth, it seems. Okay, this one seems to gloss over uh, the execution of Robotnik's granddaughter, okay? I feel I feel this has been censored. I feel I feel cheated. What what's the real truth here? Okay, sadly Mario was killed by delusional delusional soldiers after uh, I mean fair enough. Very delusional indeed. After releasing Shadow from cryogenic tube in the Japanese version. However, in the English dub they say she was taken away. So it was censored. Filthy, filthy Americans censoring Japanese storytelling. Very, very bad. Okay, so that's the deal. That's why it's hidden. Okay, let's see here. Uh, during the time on Word Dark Mario, we can shot. shot and killed. So it was shot and killed. Okay. Okay, so I guess she actually dies in an episode. She dies in Shadow World. Season 2, episode 36. Okay, let's dig in. Right here. Let's see this right here. Mario. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is acting. Okay, so I always talked about going to visit the planet one day, but it looks like you'll have to go there without me. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. Pay for what they did, every one of them. Very tragic. All right, well, thanks for diving into this little rabbit hole with me. Uh, I'm not really sure if uh, we're any better for learning all the knowledge that we did tonight, but hey, you learned some goofy stuff about, uh, you know, some lore to look out for and some upcoming movies here in the next couple years. If you made it this far, I'd love if you gave me your feedback. Please comment on the video. It helps me a ton, you know, learn what I can do better and let me know what I'm doing good already. And with all that being said, signing off.